We have not been to the moon in 50 years, guys. 1972 was the last manned moon mission, guys. Does anybody know why? Anybody? It's because the moon is fucking dumb, guys. The moon is fucking dumb, guys. We didn't just go up there once. Like, we gave it a shot. We went up there six times, guys. And we still haven't been up there in 50 years, guys. If you date somebody six times, you're like in a steady relationship, guys. We gave it a shot, guys. We even, like, one of the trips, we took a lunar rover up there. You know what that is? It's like a fucking dune buggy. Oh, you know what a dune buggy is, right? They're fucking sweet, right? They are fucking sweet, guys. And when they go up to the moon, they have three people in the capsule. One person has to stay in the capsule. Guess how many seats are on that dune buggy? There's only two seats. Unlimited dune buggy rides. You don't have to wait in line, guys. That is fucking awesome. We still haven't gone back up there in 50 years. That place is so dumb. Unlimited dune buggy rides don't make us go back there, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, guys. Uh, I watched a lot of that, like, the astronauts footage up on the moon. There's, there's only two cool things they did. Like they hit some golf balls and then they bounced around a lot, guys. Uh, which we look pretty cool. Uh, but I'm from Waco, um, and we and uh, we have a top golf and an urban area, guys. And Waco is definitely fucking down. So we're a lot closer, to it, right? Up on I-35, kind of visit us, guys. That's in the silos. Uh, that's it. That's all there is. The silos. <laughs> Uh, I compare the moon to other objects in the solar system, like Mars. We've never stepped foot on Mars, just a couple of like robots and rovers and shit. But we've already found out proof that there's water on Mars, proof of possible life. We even took this little badass helicopter and flew around up there, it was pretty fucking sweet. Uh, we went up to the moon six times, all we brought back was some fucking rocks, guys. The moon is so fucking dumb, guys. But I kind of get it, like in the 60s and 70s, they didn't have Netflix, they didn't have the internet. If you were a woman, you had pre marital sex, you had to live in a convent for the rest of your life. So, like, like rocks were pretty exciting back then, guys. Uh, the sun is pretty awesome. Any fans of the sun here? <laughs> Gary likes to go and he's an idiot. Yeah. The sun, like, if you look at it in a universal way, like, the sun is just, like, right over our shoulders. It's like so close. The whole entire universe is right there. It is a gigantic ball of like constant nuclear explosions like just right over here. It produces so much energy that it keeps the earth warm. It keeps us from freezing to death. It feeds all the trees and the plants. gives them the energy they need and they sustain all of life. The moon just fucking floats around and the sun, guys. The moon is that partner, that person in the group that uh, Group project you have to do that doesn't do shit, but then is there when it's time to get the credit, guys? Fucking moon sucks, guys. It, it doesn't even do a good job of reflecting the sun, guys. What the fuck is up with that crescent moon shit, guys? Like, a month ago, I was taking the trash out. I got bit by a fucking raccoon because I couldn't fucking see. As if the moon was doing its job, I would have kicked that raccoon's ass, guys. Instead, I made the rainy shot. <laughs> It does another dumb shit too, like the moon makes it really hard to stand in the water when you're at the beach. Like you're standing there trying to look cool in your new bathing suit and the wave just bitch slaps you in the face. That's the fucking moon, guys. That's the moon has you, guys. The moon also does stuff to women's periods. Uh, I don't know if it makes it chunkier or if it makes it smell different. If it makes the cramps like go up further in the vagina. I'm not, I'm not a doctor, guys. <laughs> I'm barely a comedian. Um, there is one cool thing the moon does, but I like the moon, I'm just going to say the beginning of the joke. There's one cool thing I like about the moon, is like when we go to land on the moon. When we go to land on the moon, we have these big, giant booster rockets, guys. And we can carry a ton of shit up there. But when we come back, we're in this tiny little castle. We can't carry anything back. So we've gone up there six times, and every single time we've gone up there, we've left like tools and equipment and experiments. We even left that fucking moon that uh, buggy up on blocks up there, guys. We've been there six times. We left that fucking moon look like trailer park and clean, guys. <laughs> that is the most American fucking thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
guys. Uh, I'm looking around at this crowd, guys, and I see a lot of regret. Uh, <laughs> a lot of regret in your faces, guys. Um, and I want to tell you about my biggest regret. Uh, my biggest regret of my life is the time I told Jeffrey Dahmer to eat a bag of dicks. Uh, I didn't know he was going to take me literally, guys. <laughs> but I feel like I have a lot of blood on my hands because it takes, you know, it takes a lot of dicks to fill up a bag, guys. <laughs> Even those little HP bags, it's a lot of dicks, guys. It's a lot of blood on my hands. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer uh, is a very evil man, or was. Uh, he was like the epitome of evil. Um, but Jeffrey Dahmer was a foodie. <laughs> <laughs> And a people person, guys. That is a, that is a rare combination, guys. Guys, let's make some noise for Jeffrey Young. Just kidding, my name is Adam. Hope you guys have a great crowd. Tonight.